Hi guys, welcome to the Savvy Money Show with me, your host Sean. If you find any of today's entertainment informative, don't forget to smash that lovely like button. If you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to hit subscribe, oh, the, hitting the bell notification so you get notified when a new video comes out. Hitting that like button really does help get with a YouTube algorithm getting the video out to more people. If you haven't signed up for a free trading app, there's links to three of them down below in the description where you'll get a free share if you sign up via the link and deposit a small amount. Now, on with the show. The Dow Jones has been struggling the last few days. The Nasdaq and the S&P have been surging forward. Uh, S&P has broken through a new line of 29.50. The next uh, trend line is 3,000. And if it breaks through that, there's nothing to stop it hitting 31 or 32. Of course, it can always drop the other way and start a crash. Uh, and there's a number of factors that can go both ways. After all, the FANG makes up 23%, 22 23% of the S&P 500. So that's what's driving it. And if you, unless you haven't noticed, my negative news, uh, positive news drives the stock up, negative news brings it down. However, um, negative news about the FANG stocks doesn't seem to be dragging them down. Alphabet and Google have had ne negative news on their partnership with their tracing program, but this it still hasn't affected them. Uh, Facebook has brought out their new shop, which I think is a great idea. However, what I don't think is a good idea is partnering with Shopify without releasing uh, details of the partnership with them. Uh, I don't know whether it's a good deal or a bad deal. Is it good for Shopify? Is it good for Facebook? Uh, Facebook already had their marketplace online. I don't know why they couldn't elab you know, elaborate on that without incorporating Shopify, unless they're charging Shopify. However, they, as I said, it seems like nothing sticks to them at the moment so they're just surging and they're taking the rest of the market with them so while all the other stocks are lagging behind not all of them but oh, negative news is making them lag behind these five nothing is that's why you've got to do your own due diligence make sure each company you invest in has a good balance sheet and those that don't have a good balance sheet has something on the books that can drive it ideally they will have both so your spec stock should have enough capital or enough uh, products in the pipeline so that if they get in trouble they can sell one off to sustain them or leverage it anyway on with the show we're going to be talking of a few shares today. Surprise, surprise. JD, Sports Finance. Now, for me, this is a good company. I'm not a big fan of the guy who owns it. But uh, that's just personal opinion. But when you look at it, P ratio of 21, which is a little high. And... They're not a dividend stock, which is fi I'm fine with that. Now, you s this is the bad news. The UK watchdog orders JD Sports to sell Foot Asylum. They started taking over Foot Asylum on the thinking they could. Uh, it would go through the problem. The CMA, which is the Competitions and Mar Market Authority in the UK said they can't because it they would grow too big and there wouldn't be enough discounts to uh, buyers and therefore there wouldn't be enough competition so 
buyers would and would actually suffer as a result now a lot of people see that as a negative i don't i see that as a positive when the actual uk when the actual competitions authority says you're growing too big if you take over another company that's a positive now you can see they're selling at a discount because of the covid19 or the rony rona for our friends across the pond now it's been trading between 274 and 890 we're in the middle of 560 wow and that's because you have JD Sports Gyms as well. They've been closed down during this period. And even when uh, they reopen, people aren't going to want to go straight back into the gym. Well, they're going to want to, but they're not going to want to go back into the gym and mix with other people in a confined space, sweating space, where they can catch germs. be doing their sports in the park and things like that you've seen them outside you know all these weightlifters are doing them outside or people doing the running outside and doing the training outside you know I told you before I was doing my PE with Joe with my kids I just finished it this morning actually now but once it gets up and running again it's a profitable business for us you know, JD Sports is like it's like a Primark for sports brands. If you want to buy anything for sport, if you want to buy, if you run a football team and you want to buy like a kit for your team, or if you want to buy, if you have a favourite football team you want to buy a kit but you don't want to pay that team's prices you usually get it discounted in there if you want to buy football boots trainers and have them all and they always have uh, discounts you know I mean there was jokes before about uh, you know I think DFS is closing down so he really is closing down now uh, but because it's an all year round sale it's the same as this it has an all year round sale it's just the percentage of discounts that change like uh, I would go past there on my way to work and it's constantly 40% 50% 70% sale I'm thinking how can it be a sale when it's there every week of the year but they do make a massive amount of money you can see where they've got a five and a half billion dollar market cap. Now it's on the London Stock Exchange, and I've had people asking me about which gym is worth picking up, and or is there a retailer worth picking up? Now I have gone into Ralph Lauren Polo. It's a tiny position because. They're opening up their shops, and uh, I wasn't expecting to speak about this actually, but because they're t opening up their, and I'm showing you my portfolio over here, a quick one. Um, oh, sorry, it's on my other portfolio. Uh, sorry about how quick this is. I'm trying to get it through as quick as possible because they're opening up their shops they're socially distanced in their shops and they're discounted now the other retail one also a gym JD Sports and it's 300 <laughs> it's discount you know it's a three pound discount these this isn't in hundred pounds this is in pounds so it's five pounds sixty a share you know it was at eight pounds for share you know 
I didn't get, I've, um, I haven't bought it yet, I'm looking to buy it. It's got cash on hand, so they can take over someone else, or they can weather the storm. It's got a lot of cash on hand. And they have an online arm as well. The online arm isn't set up as well as the likes of Amazon or eBay, obviously, or a lot of other retail stores. But they are setting up their online arm. And uh, I just hope they get it all sorted quickly. Now, on to the next one, because, uh, sorry, we're running out of time. Morrison's, because it goes ex-dividend on Thursday. And it's uh, between it's floating between 180 and 186 which is quite a good you know you see there it's quite a good uh price its cheapest one was 5 158 highest one was 211 they've had a surge in sales like like all supermarkets they have but this is a great one to get into they give a three and a half percent dividend uh p ratio of 12 you know i've looked at all the supermarkets and either the p ratio was high or the balance book didn't look that good or the p ratio uh to dividend wasn't very good you know when you look at the p everything the p ratio the dividend and the balance book this looks good but you've got to be quick to catch that dividend otherwise you wait until after until friday when it drops like a stone and pick it up and you uh you want what you want to think is the the earning state is uh was 18th of March but the true one that they'll get from the COVID-19 will be the next earnings date that's when it will really tell now Simon Property Group and this is one I've spoken about before it's a spec stock because people keep asking me about spec stock now there's a P ratio of 8 it shows dividend of 15%. I wouldn't bank on that dividend. Now, there's a REIT, a retail REIT. And, you know, people... Now, look, people are torn over this. Federal reality is one that I said a couple of weeks ago. And it is a better REIT stock because, but Simon Property Group is going to open half of its, it's opened half of its shopping malls. You know, uh, it's missed on the first quarter earnings, you know, but it's still a good REIT to have. You've got to think of it. It was it dropped from 172 to 42. And now it's at 56. It's jumped from 42 to 56 because it's opening its malls. Well, half of them anyway. Now, I wouldn't bank on a 16% dividend at the moment on the next one. But what I would do is I'd hold it. I'd forget this year's dividend. If they give it, great. But I'd think I'm getting it at a discount. I'm, I'm getting it. A third of the cost that way I can pick up three times the amount I usually would and look forward to the dividend next year and with that being said uh, I've been asked a strange request for a video a surrealist video which I, I might put on later but if, if you found any of this in, informative don't forget to hit the like subscribe button it really does help and 
Uh, don't forget to check out the description for some offers, including the free trading app and some links to Amazon uh, for some financial books I read and uh, the kit I use. Uh, please note the reason it goes to Amazon is because if you have Audible, you don't have to pay. I get no commission if you use Audible. I am an affiliate, so I get commission if you uh, buy the books. Uh, if you're starting your own YouTube channel, you don't need the kit I use. You just need a smartphone, which is from the first few ones is what I used. Now, if you notice from the kit, I haven't put in an expensive one and a half grand Lenovo or an expensive phone. I've put in good quality stuff, uh, fairly cheap price. I don't go to pick up, put in stuff to pick up a high commission. I go put in what I use. That's why I've turned down sponsorship from a certain company that I don't agree with. And I don't receive any sponsorship. The I don't receive any income from this site. I only do it because I try to help keep people informed. I'm grateful if people use the links. If they don't, that's fine as well. If you want to check out the Facebook or Instagram page, it's pretty much the same as this. It's links to these. Sometimes they will have more information or some different information, but uh, it's more or less the same links. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.